Right ladies, so what we're talking about today is how to be more feminine and dominate in the boardroom. Because often what I'm finding is that when women enter a male dominated industry, we often start to behave like men, to mirror men, to mirror their behavior. Yet a woman is not strong pretending to be a man. A woman is not powerful pretending to be a man. And so today is about learning how to reflect that femininity whilst still being able to dominate a boardroom, even in a male-dominated industry. Now remember to start with making a strong entrance and by making eye contact with each person in the room before you leave that spot. As you make your way into the room, remember to keep your head up, maintaining eye contact with a big smile on your face. Next point is to remember a strong, firm handshake and make sure that you do not lean or drop towards the person you're meeting with, but rather that you stay in an upright position. When it comes to taking your seat, remember to acknowledge everyone at the table still by keeping your head up. And when taking your seat, to take it slowly so that you and everyone else feels the power of that moment. Now let's take a moment to look at a couple of seated behaviors when you're at the boardroom table. Remember to keep your head shakes slow and deliberate because when we tend to over nod very quickly, it actually reflects lower levels of confidence. Make use of authoritative hand gestures. Again, we have a video on more of these. Take up space with your body. This sends a signal to everyone in the room that you are confident and authoritative. And remember to use deliberate and controlled hand gestures. Again, when you throw your hands around too frequently, it shows anxiety, nervousness, and lack of control. When gesturing to people, make use of open palms, whether you're referring to someone or asking someone a question. And finally, Remember to sit upright at the back of your chair and push your arms forward so that your shoulders drop so that you appear relaxed. So ladies, here's the thing. Today is a short lesson in how to start becoming more feminine because women are incredibly powerful when we step into our femininity. And so take some of these exercises, take some of these practices and start implementing them slowly and watching the difference in how people respond to you.